Hey guys, going to do another dialysis video today. Seems like people liked the one yesterday, so um, again, bored, nothing to do. I'm sick of doing the same thing over and over again, so I figured I'd uh, show you guys what I do. So today I'm just going to show you the setup. Uh, yesterday I just kind of showed you the treatment stuff. I didn't really show you the half hour worth of work that goes into it uh, before I can even start treatment. Um, so today I figured I'd show you that. Uh, so basically start off, machine's off. Uh, I have to open this handle here, uh, turn the machine on. I uh, get a couple things to come up on the screen and it'll beep. Um, so this cartridge comes in the bag. All right, it's probably noisy. This is a dialysis cartridge that I have to put in the machine. Uh, this includes all the tubes, lines, uh, the filter that I showed you yesterday. Um, basically disassemble this thing and kind of check a couple connections here. These are those arterial and venous lines I told you yesterday that hook up to my needles. So you use one of these for every treatment. And this thing slides into the machine like so. You gotta kind of line it up. You press a couple of these tubes in here. Make sure it's set in there properly. And then you close the door and latch it in there. And then you have all these tubes here. Kind of set those right there. Normally I hang this first and I forgot, so I gotta hang this bag up here. I did sanitize my hands before we started the video. Just so all you pros out there, they're gonna nitpick what I do here. Uh, I did uh, use a little san hand sanitizer. So you gotta unravel these lines basically. Get these all straightened out. Then you have this spike right here that's going to go into the bottom of the bag. So I already twisted the bottom of that off, pull the spike, the spike gets put in the bag. Cam's helping me film again today. All right, so spikes in the bag, those are all straightened out. So basically what we're going to do is prime the machine. So these tubes have nothing but air in them right now, and we're going to fill them up uh, with the saline solution. Uh, so I'm just going to hit prime on the machine. Uh, machine is going to go through the process. Uh, it's going to start, takes 23 minutes to prime the machine. Uh, so this is all automatic. It's going to automatically draw uh, the solution into the tubes, remove all the air. Uh, I have to set up the filter. Uh, so remember yesterday, this was the dialyzer filter. Um, this comes all taped up and we're going to undo these lines. Slide this in the air like so. I'm going to clamp off a couple of these clamps because if you don't, uh, it tends to leak during this process. So there's a couple clamps on here that I have to clamp so it doesn't make a big mess. So that's ready to go machine wise. Um, and again, it takes about 20 minutes uh, to get that primed. The other thing that I have to do is uh, the dialysate. Um, so I mentioned yesterday that I make a sack of dialysate before treatment. I'm going to pull this out. It's pretty heavy. This whole sack right here is just full of fluid. Uh, this is the dialysate that takes seven hours to make. This sack right here uh, comes with a little bit of premixed chemicals in it, and then I place that in there, hook up the lines to it. Um, there's a, a, a water filter over here, pretty heavy-duty filter that filters uh, the tap water before it goes into this sack. Uh, this is very warm. Um, there's a warmer in here because uh, this is essentially, it doesn't actually touch the blood, um, but it could cool the blood down. Um, and you want your blood basically staying the same temperature as it is when it comes out of your body as when it goes back in your body. Uh, so there's a warmer in here that keeps all this nice and warm. Um, and a big tray, it's very heavy. <clears throat> so what we have to do is after this is made, there's a process and you have to check the chloramines uh, in the dialysate to make sure it's safe for use. So it tells you on here, check chloramines, remove orange line. So what we're gonna essentially do is unscrew this line from here, uh, like so. Um, and what we're gonna do is hit this green button and it's gonna dispense uh, a certain amount of dialysate into this cup. Uh, it takes about 30 seconds or so for it to actually dispense. Uh, and then once it's dispensed, I have 
uh, testing strips that I have to test for chloramines in the dialysate. Uh, I've been doing this for, I've been doing dialysis for two and a half years now, give or take. Uh, I've never seen chloramines in the dialysate, but apparently it is possible if uh, something in the filter were to fail or there was a bad mix of chemicals, um, it's possible. Um, again, I've never seen it, uh, but this is just kind of a step that has to be done to make sure it's safe to use before treatments. Uh, so it's, you know, you just gotta test every single batch. Now this batch of dialysate that's in here, uh, it actually makes, I believe, 60 liters of uh, dialysate um, per sack. I only use 45, that's what my uh, prescription is for. Uh, so at the end, there's still 15 liters or so in this container, um, and you have to drain it. Uh, so right now it's dispensing dialysate. Look, I'm just gonna put a little bit in this cup. So it gives a couple ounces of fluid here. It's gonna shut off here in a second. I'll reattach this line. All right. So it says check chloramines, reconnect line. So I'm gonna screw this back in here. So that's nice and tight. So it says check chloramines. So I'm gonna take the little testing strip. Which I have one right here. Open it up. Sorry, Cam's probably moving the camera around quite a bit. So a little testing strip and just swirl it around in there for 30 seconds or so. And if this testing strip comes out like a pale yellowish color, it means it's good. Uh, if it's a real, real dark color, um, so that pale yellowish color is good. Uh, if it was real dark or brown, uh, it tells me that there's something wrong with the dialysate. Uh, and I would not be able to use it, and I would have to basically make an entire new sack, which takes seven hours. Uh, there's a whole process for that, and it's a huge pain in the butt uh, if you have to make a new sack, but it does happen sometimes. Um, so it's good. Uh, reconnected the line, says check for chloramine, so I hit yes, I did that. It asked me if it passed or if it failed. It passed, obviously, so I can do that. And then it gives me this batch that's in here expires in 87 hours. So it'll only stay good for that long, which it never sits in there because I usually make the batch the morning of my treatments. Um, so it asked me if I want to use it. Yes, I want to use it. I hit go. The pump turns on and it starts pumping the dialysate into, oops, sorry, into this line right here that will eventually be hooked up to here uh, when I hook everything up. Uh, so over these next 20 minutes while this machine's priming, essentially we, we usually set up um, you know, all the stuff here, Cam already pulled everything out uh, that's on the table. Uh, I'll get my needles and stuff. You saw all that stuff yesterday. Uh, but that's how the beginning of dialysis starts. Um, I do clean in my arms. I have to weigh myself still. I have to take my first blood pressure. Um, and I enter all that into the iPad that you saw yesterday uh, as part of the setup as well. Um, but that's how I set it up. Thanks for watching.